Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bit happy because your girl won a brow book and I just broke my neck. Dude, I won a brow book. Oh my god. Let me show you the clip. I saved it. Yes, I saved it. I'm thirsty. Um, here's the clip of what happened. Ooh, I like this one. Giselle German. Besides eyebrows, what do you think is the next important feature of the face? Um, you know, I think obviously they're obviously eyes and brows are connected so I can't say eyes but definitely lips because I think first thing you look at especially when people are talking you tend to look at their mouth so I would say uh, lips it's not only that but you know we open our eyes to close and open 10,000 times a day and your mouth and without thinking you attract eyes and lips oh yeah that's you cool know, actually yeah, yeah for sure Giselle so Giselle German, she's from Facebook. So Giselle, I hope you're tuning in right now. You just won a brow book, girl. Yes! Oh my God. When Norvina said my name, my question, I was like, this is from Anastasia. All of her brow products. Oh my God, this thing is freaking huge. One, it came in this box. It's like huge. And uh, honestly, I took it out because I was thirsty. This is it. In the front, it says, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it says 20 years of beautiful brows. And it even shows their golden ratio that, um, you know, they do. This thing is so beautiful. I think uh, I had this like protected or whatever around the stuff. So let me take this out. I use some of the products obviously not all of them because I'm not gonna use all those shades I use a few products that you know interest me and I made a brow tutorial which is going to be towards the end of this video if you want to just skip me talking about my life story then here's the time you could skip to but if you want to hear my life story then just don't even skip keep watching so sorry that I haven't made a video Editing just got me stressed out, so I took a break from that because, okay, my go-to look, right? It's not hard. What made it hard was I lost some of my products that I use, you know, for my go-to look. That was my second time recording it because the first time I was out of frame and then I didn't even know that the lighting was bad, like, until I posted it on YouTube and watched it on my phone because I was using my sister's laptop and... I don't know it looked fine the lighting didn't look like how it looked I was a little upset about that so I just took a break from it because I was just over it but I'm back now okay I know I'm looking a little crazy right now that's because I put concealer and um, powder on my eyelids to prime for my eyeshadow and that's just because I want to see how well the products work if I have product on my you know face and whenever I don't have product on my face. This eyebrow tutorial is going to be really extra. I already know it's because I want to try out, you know, almost all of her products. Not like every single one, but at least some of them. And, you know, see if it makes a difference. So I'm going to take her brow enhancing serum. And this is supposed to like grow out your eyebrows. And so they can appear fuller. And it does say to apply that whenever you have nothing on your eyebrows like have them clean i'm just gonna brush this like all throughout my brow i'm not gonna take her brow primer which i didn't even know a brow primer existed and i feel like i really do need this because my hairs they they just go all over the place 
You know, they're just wild. And I just hate that about them. So we're gonna strap these down. I wanna get an actual spoolie and just like comb that all through. Like these, I don't know if you see that, but it's like really laying down the hair. And I really like that. Now I'm gonna use her brow wiz in the shade dark brown. This is actually like mine. Okay, so I broke like the spoolie. Like it's a little bent. I don't know how I broke it, but I did. Like. See that? I know it's kind of sad, but I actually really like this fully. It's kind of like tough and like a little rough. Oh my god, oh my god, it's breaking more. <laughs> it's kind of like tough and I like that because it really like brushes the hair. So what I like to do is I like to start outlining my eyebrow. I like to start like at my arch, not really towards the front. Start here first and then connect it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm gonna try making it look like I have like more hair by doing like little strokes. I wanna like do little strokes in the way like your hair is going. So like my hair is going this way, so that's why I'm doing it this way. But now in the front, they're going straight up. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to go straight up. but still kind of doing a line, you get me? Brushes down. I'm gonna do like little strokes going down, but sort of like in a straight line. Now I'm going to go in the front. I'm going to blend it all together. That's why I like to outline first because the product it's going to blend like all over like the eyebrow. Now you could just use the brow wiz and you know fill it in, but I really want to try her brow powder like for the inside so that's what I'm gonna use I'm going to use her number 15 brush and I'm going to use the medium brown brow powder duo and I'm gonna first go in with the darker shade to fill in like the little bald spots This a little thicker. I'm going to go in with her pro pencil and base too and this is an eyeshadow primer and color corrector but I've seen people use this to clean up their eyebrows I've been actually dying to use this but I was not gonna go buy it to be honest so I'm actually glad that like I won this because now my eyebrows are gonna be snatched so what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my eyebrow. Okay, I know look, it's looking like there's a lot of product in the front, but we're going to go in with another brush and blend that out. But, okay, I'm going to go in with this Anastasia number 20 brush and I'm just going to blend it down. But I'm also going to kind of go straight to like outline it. Since this pencil is like really like fresh, um, I feel like it did like apply kind of a little bit too much unless it was just me. If that happens to you, get your brush. Just wipe it in the back of your hand and that product's off of your brush a little bit. Just want to get the spoolie, brush it all out, distribute the product. Look at that already. I'm not even done. 
Now I'm going to go in with Anastasia's Highlighting Duo Pencil. I'm going to be using the Lace Shimmer side. Put that underneath my arch. Put a little bit underneath, not too much. And then I'm going to blend that out with the same 20 brush. Okay. A little subtle. All right now, I'm going to take Anastasia's Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Espresso. I'm just gonna lock these hairs into place. I could have probably blended it out a little bit more. It's fine though. It's gonna be covered with foundation in a bit, and um. Overall, I like the products that I use, honestly. I'm not saying you have to use every one of these products. I know it's like, honestly, a lot of steps. This is an extra eyebrow tutorial, but I really wanted to experience using some of these. So now I'm going to do my other eyebrow off of camera and the rest of my face. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. Um, overall, I really like my eyebrows. I didn't do nothing extreme. They're looking very natural and I actually really like them. I loved all of her products that I used in this video. Honestly, they do work. I love the formulas. If anything, the only product that I had a little issue with was the Pro Pencil. The problem that I had with that was whenever I was blending it out with the product that I had on my eye, it kind of made it look like a little weird. Like you could still see the product even though like I blended it out. It was like if there's like little crumbs, like something like that. But whenever I blended it on top, like where there was no product, I didn't have a problem with that. I don't know, maybe it was just because I applied too much or maybe it had something to do with my base. I don't really know, but either way, I still like the product. I'm going to use the product, but that was like the only thing that I had a little issue with. Now I liked, look at this. Look, look what I did. I'm about to bust out another one. I'm just, oh frick. 